So next up, we have an amateur catchweight bout set at 63 kilograms, scheduled for three three-minute rounds and brought to you in association with Miller's Taxis. Introducing first in the blue corner, with a record of one win, no losses, representing Fight Academy Island. Make some noise for Josh Hoy! And his opponent across the cage with a record of three wins against a single loss, representing Reps MMA and Combat Performance Academy. Give it up for Charlie Flanagan! Your referee in charge, Mr. Jay Furness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door closing on the 63 kilogram catchweight contest. Charlie Flanagan, the Reps MMA fighter and co Combat Performance Academy. Fighting out of the red corner. He has the black Phantom Athletic shorts on as he takes on Fight Academy's Island. Fight Academy Island's Josh Hoy in the black booster tie shorts with silver trim. Oh, Hoy really going for that clinch early on. Yeah, nice tight body lock. Forces Flanagan. Oh, but funny, Flanagan. remember the trip. Oh. Look at the timing on that, completely took uh, Hoy by surprise. Hoy though wise enough to readjust, ensure that he gets the guard. Yeah, now Flanagan working on top. We've seen Charlie Flanagan in some of the best fights here at UK Fighting Championship, including the one against Jack Axworthy. Oh, the fight with what Axworthy. What a fight. Such a close one. And in that third round, he was coming on extremely strong. Felt he had done enough. Lost that, though. But now re-establishing himself, he won another fight. Alex Gill at UK Fighting Championships 18. A unanimous decision against a very well-rounded, tough opponent. And now he's up against this guy. Out yeah. Josh Hoy. Josh Hoy on the bottom, trying to keep the man, his man close. And Josh Hoy's got that knee shield now, yep. just keeping that distance and building the base nicely, but this could give up the back. Flanagan might duck that head under, and he does. And he does. And he's got one leg, one hook in. Now he's, he's already got, got the seat belt yeah. across. But Hoy doing the right, he's got the elbow across, and now he's turning back into his man. Yeah. Savvy. He just can't let Flanagan make that jump across, and you know just how quick Flanagan is. You saw that trip, that throw that he did early in this round. He just wants to throw his legs over that back if he can clear them. Yeah, just let that go now. This is going to be a matter of patience. Oh, good separate. work. And it's good work from Hoy getting the separation now. Yeah, straight back to work though, giving Flanagan no time off. Back in his face. Charlie Flanagan is another one of these fighters that since they've started to pair up the training with Reps MMA and Combat Performance Academy with Rob Friedman, Steve Nightingale, he really has elevated his game. Yeah, caught the front kick there. Did Flanagan answer with a straight right? And lovely in on the takedown, but got to be careful here. Yeah, looking into his corner there. Not quite sure what bite he's got. Flanagan not really panicking here. The entry on the takedown was great though, Steve. Changed levels, drove forward, got the takedown, but now just having to respect this bite on the neck, trying to jump clear good. the legs, and he does so. Very good stuff here. Yeah, moves into side control, tried to get the knee on belly. A few seconds left in the round, and he'll end up on top after a lovely little scramble, but... What, what a pace, what a pace this fight has been contested at so far, Steve. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit tired watching this. I'm ready for a drink of water. <laughs> Steve Nightingale, Rob Friedman, and giving their words of wisdom to Charlie Flanagan. And across there, Josh Hoy from Fight Academy Island. He's won the victory on his uh, record already. That was against Matthew Mulligan, the referee stoppage in round number three. And that was in February of this year. Again, a great, great test for these two athletes. The lessons learned in these, uh, these matches, these contests, invaluable as they progress, as they grow from amateur into professional, which no doubt, looking at both these young men, they will. Well, cage door set to close. 
Second of three potential. Three minute rounds here again. Charlie Flanagan fighting out of the red corner in the Phantom Athletic Shorts. Josh Hoy, the Fight Academy Island prospect in the black tie shorts with the silver trim, the booster shorts. And we saw a lot of that first round contested close range attempts for takedowns against the take cage in the clinch. Heavy low kicks traded. Both these young athletes oh, caught the leg. At that, look in. at that. The speed of the reactions to catch the foot as it's coming towards you and then change the momentum, drive forward. And look at that, he's elevating the legs now. He's shelving those legs so you, you can't build your base around. You have to be aware though of the submission attempts. That's as long as he's wise to the submission attempts. And you, Joshua is right in his, right in the team, the Fight Academy Island team corner where they can just feed him. But right now it's just pressure, isn't it? Oh, pressure. Oh, and now into mount, now into mount. And he'll give up oh. his back here, State. Yeah. Flanagan is a nightmare on the back. One hook in. Oh, Great. look at the reactions. Lovely scramble, though, from Hoy saying, no, 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 that ain't happening. Brilliant stuff. Br oh, oh, nice right hand. Just Hoy eats it, eats it nicely. Smiles on his yeah. face almost. Goes low. Flanagan in on that single. And that goal takes it down. One butterfly in for Hoy. Nope, now closes the guard up. Yeah, full guard now for Hoy on the bottom. And he did so well in that, uh, the, the, with the threat of Flanagan on his back. The reactions were great. But now just on the, on his back again. Again, working now, he's trying to control the wrist. Flanagan, though, that top pressure, he's so well known for it, renowned. And it, a great work to force his, force his man up to the cage, head against the cage, take away some of that movement. Yeah, you don't jump to positions, you have to progress to them, you have to do it bit by bit, and that's what he's done, he's controlling that wrist around the back now, he's feeding, working his way up the top while throwing shots as well. It's staying busy. Constantly peppering his opponent, and so high up on the back, he's making Josh Howard carry his weight in this position. It's stifle, it's, it, it's not just make, it's not awkward just because of the weight, but your breath goes as well, your lungs uh, go, um. And he's still got that hand trapped. Yeah, still got that and still working with the right hands. And chipping away, I mean. And now gets to take and the And then on again. the back, one hook in, two hooks in. Oh. Not under the chin yet though. But time to work, trying to trap that arm Yeah, going to try and isolate that arm. Oh, 10 seconds. The rounds run away from us again, Steve. Is he going to try and... No, this is just a good spot to finish in. Just a, a solid, strong performance. And a, a definitive round, that one, for uh, so. Charlie Flanagan. Brilliant stuff. Credit to uh, Josh Hoyt for escaping him on the back of the first time. But once that second time they went to the mat, the progression of position to the point where... We saw Flanagan work up his opponent, yeah. control that wrist, cause some problems, then take the back again. That, that was really the, uh, the swing in this round. And I'm wondering if it's going to be, you know, third first, same as the second, please. Well, now it's a jump to Josh Hoy. He's got to make adjustments. He, he, it feels that the grappling, especially if he gives up that bottom position, he's struggling and he's getting more tired because he's been forced to work. He's been put in awkward positions. He's having to explode out of them, which burns energy as well. Stay long, stay on the outside and be aware that, and especially with the kicks, he got the kick caught in that second round state. Maybe don't throw kicks to the midsection. Keep them extremely low. Well, we can't give away a takedown. We've got three minutes left to try and separate these two young fighters. You get Charlie Flanagan in the red corner, the Reps MMA and Combat Performance Academy prospect, the Phantom Athletic Shorts, and the Fight Academy Ireland, Josh Hoy, in the black booster tie shorts with silver trim. As we've noticed, as Again, we've oh, there's the timing. And it was Hoy that made the movement forward, and it was just excellent reaction and level change from uh, from Flanagan. Yes, yeah, as, as you pointed out, just in between rounds, Flanagan started to come into the ascendancy in the second with but, that top control and pressure, and here he is. I mean, on the feet, Josh Hoy makes it a dogfight. It is big shots.
but when it's the uh, on the ground, it feels like Flanagan is, especially in this top position, so strong, so heavy. And again, it's you can hear he's inviting, inviting Hoy to roll on. Oh, Hoy might get up hold of that leg and take the back himself. That's good work. Flanagan trying to stop it, but now it's a scramble. Ed Flanagan oh, mounts him. Look at that. No panic. Just stepped over, and, and once again... Oh, I thought he was... God, he had... But he's doing it for that, Steve. He's throwing these shots. Either stop the fight or give me your back. I'm just going to oh. keep punching. You're going to have to flatten him out now. And he's got to be a top contender. He has to be seen as somebody who could potentially fight for that bantamweight title. Look what it means to him to get the finish. He earned that, Steve. Really did earn that. And it, again, it was that grappling. Once he got the top position, the story was so different and it progressed. First round, Hoy was able to stave him off. Second round, you saw Flanagan get a bit more success in the third round, worked away till he finally got that finish. Brilliant stuff. Uh, clinical performance there from the Reps MMA man, Charlie Flanagan. Took his time, advanced positions in the second, got into the ascendancy, and then in the third round, finds that rear naked and earns the finish. Charlie Flanagan moving to four and one, and I think we're definitely looking at a contender here for one of our regional amateur titles. Josh Hoy moves to one and one, but nothing to hang his head about. Excellent fight, loads of fun. Let's turn it over to Mr. Brian Lacey, and he will make the result official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee calls a stop to the action. One minute, 23 seconds of round number three. Your winner in the red corner, Charlie Flanagan!